good evening this is Chris Lechness and I have the HTC Titan in front of me and I'm going to show you guys a few things uh, first of all I am going to show how to do a software install which is pretty much standard for all Windows Phone 7 devices um, a software reset which basically wipes all your data and lets you start it you know new after that I'm going to do a hard reset on the actual HTC Titan which is going to be independent to the device you're using some manufacturers share the same procedure among all their devices but uh, and I believe HTC is actually the same uh, I think I'm about a, I'm about 99 percent positive that the HTC Titan is going to use the same hardware reset procedure that the uh, HT or the HD7 and the HD2 used um, so anyway uh, after I do the resets, I am going to give a new application a try called Reinstaller, which goes out and queries your Windows Live account, brings up a history of all the applications that you have installed in the past with your that is associated with your Windows Live account, and lets you reinstall them onto that device. And the way that that can help is when you know if I sell this device and go out and buy the you know Nokia 900 I can log in using this reinstaller application log in and without having to go through and individually go through and you know reinstall each application one by one especially if you've got a lot of applications that could be kind of tedious and this uh, application attempts to allow you to bulk install all those applications at once so let's get started um, so basically with the software the uh, reset what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and go into settings and yeah, it's going to take me a minute there and where we're going here da, 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 da. about and then down here at the bottom you see reset your phone and basically you just hit there it says resetting your phone will erase all your personal content including applications that you have purchased and download and we'll restore the factory settings Do you want to continue and we will um, gives you another chance to back out are you sure you want to erase all your personal content from this phone yes I am and boom unlike some of the older Windows mobile devices you know the 6, 5 and below and earlier this shouldn't take too long to actually complete uh, some of the in fact the, with the iPhone the original I, or the 3 and the 3G's they are really, really slow to, to perform their factory wipe. So we'll see what happens with this one. It shouldn't take too long. This is the first time I've actually done this on this particular device. Windows Phone. And should come up and tell me to you know set it up as a new device by asking my Windows Live ID and all that good stuff. We shall see. And here we go. Welcome to your HTC Titan X310e. Now this one might look a little different than your HTC Titan because this is a European model and chances are the one that you're using if you're watching this video is probably the AT&T version. So instead of getting started I'm going to go ahead and power it off. I'm going to slide the power down and I am going to and I don't know why manufacturers suggest this but I am going to pull the battery I, I wish I did well I don't really care it's pretty dusty in there they, they recommend that you take the battery out for 10 seconds uh, I don't know exactly why technically or you know what technical reasons that might be but anyway so that's what it sounds like 10 seconds to me I'll plug this back up or put this back together uh oh yeah I haven't used this one in a while. Oh, you got to start from up here. Sorry. Push it up in there and snap it in. There we go. All right. To perform this um, hard reset using the hardware keys, uh, what you need to do is you need to position yourself to where you can hold down both the up and down arrows. Then you're going to hit the power button up on top here, and you're going to hold it until it starts to come on then you can release the power button and this is what you'll see now like I said you may see something different uh, being that this is a European version 
and it is also an unlocked version and I'm not sure exactly if you will see the exact same thing I have because I don't have a retail version that is locked of the HTC Titan so you're going to use your arrow down key and you're going to go down to I gotta get position to be able to use that factory reset as you can see there it's pretty similar to you know an Android thing and uh, hit the power button this operation will delete all your personal data and restart da 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 uh, press volume down to restore manufacturer default or press any other key to cancel. If I was to hit the power button again, it would cancel, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the down key. And restoring, wait for complete, restore complete. This is a lot quicker. Hit the volume down button again to restart. And there we are. And after this restarts, I will use reinstaller to see how that works for us. Wow, that was quite the, the buzzing there. So after this resets, I will start the camera back up and we will try out reinstall. Okay, we're restarted and I'm going to go ahead and hit get started. I'm um, going to go through the procedure here, except uh, recommended set. Excuse me, central time, next. Sign up with a Windows Live ID. You've probably done all this if you're going through watching and seeing how to reset it. So. We're going to sign in. Uh, I'm going to go off camera for just a second here. To okay, and now in. I have my data in there, and we're going to go ahead and uh, sign in. Uh, if you don't know your, you know, it's got some, you know, you've done this before. <laughs> sign in. And this process takes a couple minutes, or can take up to a couple minutes. Let's see here. getting dusty la 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 Okay, and we're here. It says installing applications. All the applications have finished installing. Next. All done. Done. And there we are. It is back to factory. Wow. I haven't seen it look like this in quite a while. We got this little uh, Windows Phone welcome message here. And we'll delete that out. All right, so now I shouldn't have any applications except for what's you know loaded up for the ROM in the ROM for being on here. So we're going to go to um, app, to uh, marketplace and we're going to search for reinstaller. There it is, and I'm going to click on that. We're going to install, and it's downloading. My battery's getting kind of low here. Shouldn't take but a minute or two. I don't have Wi-Fi set up right now, so we're hitting my um, hitting my 3G connection. Wi-Fi is turned on, and it's not connected. We're gonna connect and see if we can go ahead and get this going a little faster. Connected, and let's go back to. Oops. Where were we? There we go, downloading. And it's downloading 100%. Okay, so we're done. Let's uh, go find that in here, reinstaller. Nope, still pending, still installing. Okay, it looks like we finally got done there. It might have got hosed up when I changed from just being on the uh, 3G or the uh, wireless data. To the Wi-Fi so anyway it is installed now and we're gonna go ahead and hit that and we have connect install rate and review share 
and this little question mark down there is help uh, share if you like it let's see what we do share the link about blah 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 okay uh, rate and review I'm not ready for that yet uh, install initiate apps installation please tap on the connect button to fetch the app list first so we'll hit that connect and it says please tap it and show me anyway if you see it link in inner credentials and da 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 okay looks like we're we're connected to windows uh windows phone um marketplace or it's a windows live id sign in here so let me go ahead and take you off camera and do okay. that i have put in my credentials we're going to go ahead and hit, oh, hit the wrong button hit sign in there and it says please wait all right now it looks like it's brought up my app purchase history from okay so basically this is bringing in a, a web browser into this application logging you into this site and it says here please tap on the next button to download the list of apps you have installed so far so it looks like it's going to go into this document or into this web page and pull all the data from the page and bring it into this actual application so let's see please be patient while we are scanning the apps you have installed on your phone so far do not press the back key on your phone until this process is finished final app count 75 so uh, it says I can go back or install let's go ahead and hit install hope it doesn't install all 75 okay so as I recall reading on um, the Windows Phone Marketplace uh, you, you get to select which apps you want to uh, actually ins reinstall so uh, we see a check mark there, an X there, and a download button. I believe that would be install. Yeah, check, uncheck all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uncheck all, and then I'm just going to pick a few to reinstall. Uh, we're going to leave off Family Map Navigator, all that good stuff. Uh, we'll click on Carbon. Uh, let's see, Facebook, uh, Foursquare. I'll install the rest of these later. Wow, four different HTC hubs. Uh, Last FM, Meadow. Three different Netflix. That's interesting. Rowie. And I think that'll be it for right now. Oh, we got T Mobile stuff on here. That must have been from my HD7. So, yeah, um, go ahead and hit down install. Do you want to install Carbon? Oh wow, it's going to ask me. Tap on yes to install the app after this. After the install begins, press the back key on your phone and come back for the next app. Tap no to skip this app. Tap on stop to go back. Oh wow. I don't know if I'm going to like that. I've already bought it, so let's see what it says. Should already say you've already purchased this application. Would you like to install it again? Yes. All right, I do not. I don't think I'm gonna like this. So it says to hit the back button. Now it's telling me, do you want to install Facebook? Yes. So basically, all this app is doing is going out there and bringing up the page, and it, it, I guess it'd make it easier than sitting there typing in and having to, you know, single single type each individual app you want to reinstall. So uh, there there is some benefit to this. Let's just go ahead and get them all done real quick, and then we will uh, watch the progress a little bit. I, I'm not, I mean, I don't know, I, I was kind of expecting this application to automate the process for me and not allow me, make me have to do this. All right, Rowie, yes. Try by. Should already tell me I've already bought it. You've already purchased it. Yep, install and back again. And that's it, that's all we selected. So, um, that should be it. I should be able to exit this app, go to our menu here, and watch these come across Foursquare, uh, Meadows coming across now, and Rowie will come soon after that. So, anyway, reinstaller, it's um, I'm kind of mixed bag on it, it's not exactly what I expect but it does actually make the process a little bit easier so uh, yeah I guess it's worth the price free <laughs> for sure uh, yeah I mean I, I kinda was hoping it would be like some of the old Windows mobile apps where you, you 
go in and select what you want to have as a backup and then when you put the phone back together you just click on BAM and it goes to your backup file brings everything in automatically downloads everything settings and everything that'd be awesome but that's not happening yet however there are rumors that there is some sort of backup service coming from Microsoft with uh, future versions of Windows Phone that would allow you to do some of that kind of stuff with their services so anyway my name's Chris thanks for watching uh, if you uh, saw parts of this video, there are other parts that I did where I actually did a soft reset or a soft hard reset with using software means, a hard reset using hardware keys, and I did a little miniature app backup or reinstall with reinstaller, a pretty new app on the marketplace. So check out the comments uh, or the websites associated where these videos will be embedded, and I'll provide a link to that uh, reinstaller on the Windows Phone Marketplace. Thanks for watching.